All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So you guys were asking me to make another WWE-related video, so I'm making this one about Scott Steiner and his pecs, which over the years have become increasingly spaced apart, and there's a noticeable large gap in between his pecs. Um, so we were going to make a video kind of speculating as to the cause of what's going on with his pecs because we're seeing this with a lot of other older wrestlers. Um, there's a lot of speculation that there's some nerve damage associated with wrestling um, that causes these micro tears and this atrophy in the pecs from this constant, you know, micro trauma from wrestling year after year after year. And it causes this nerve damage uh, within the center of the pecs, causing them to appear more and more spaced apart. Um, so Scott Steiner in particular, if you look at photos from his earlier years versus now, um, he's got a massive tattoo of a cross in the center of his chest. So he's obviously noticed um, this increased space that's going on and he's tried to cover it up himself. Um, but one of the speculated reasons for this, this uh, spacing in his chest is that earlier in his career, he had a very invasive neck surgery. Um, uh, apparently, there were some complications with the surgery and they had to cut through his ribs. Um, and there was some speculation that that contributed a lot to, uh, to tearing and uh, severing some fibers in his chest or some tendons in his chest. Um, that was partially causing, you know, this this weird look that you can see in this photo here. I mean, it com it looks completely abnormal. Um, what's going on with his chest? You, I mean, that gap in the center of his chest, it looks like a hole. It looks like someone. It looks like the size of someone's foot. Like someone kicked him in the chest and left a dent. It's absolutely insane what his chest looks like right now. Um, so anyway, the speculation from his surgery is that it caused some some tendons to be severed and weren't reattached, caused some nerve damage, whatever. Um, and that may be that may be well and good, but if we look at this wrestler here, Kofi Kingston, in the beginning of his career, his chest was not spaced apart. But now, if you look at if you look at Kofi, there's a massive dent in his chest that looks very similar to what Scott Steiner has in the center of his chest. Um, so there's a lot of speculation now that this is a new. Um, this is like a new uh, problem that's occurring with wrestlers is that these little micro traumas and these micro tears caused by frequent abuse um, in wrestling over time lead to the, this nerve damage in the chest that leads to this hypertrophy or this atrophy. Um, so you can see the same thing again with this wrestler here. This is Chris Jericho. Earlier in his career, he had a normal, uh, normal looking chest and now he has this weird caved in look. Um, towards the center and towards the bottom of his chest. And this is a guy who's been around for a long time also. Scott Steiner, Kofi Kingston, those are guys who have been in the game for years um, wrestling and, and having this frequent micro trauma to the chest. Um, so all this speculation, man, it just thought it was an interesting uh, topic for a video. As you can see, The Undertaker is another example, just a less severe example. So here's a photo of him and Batista from earlier in The Undertaker's career where his chest looks normal. There's clear definition in between the two pecs. Um, completely normal looking chest. Obviously, he's gotten a lot older today and that can contribute to the kind of sagging. But as you can see in this photo, his pecs are clearly more spaced apart than they were in that previous photo. You can clearly tell towards the bottom, it looks like they're beginning to separate. Um, so there's definitely something going on with wrestlers and, and their pecs starting to separate in terms of micro trauma or whatever it may be, nerve damage. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think, because I'm not an expert on the subject, but I would like to know um, what the possibilities are that could be causing this. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think is causing this, this pec condition in these wrestlers. So uh, th give the video a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power signing out.